what we have seen previously is what is known as the single dimension array because they only have one dimension in which they grow what is the requirement is to have multi dimensional arrays that is arrays which is more like represent a table or even could be beyond that so in c as per the language standard there is no limit on the number of dimensions which you can have it is only limited by your system memory the way multi dimensional arrays are defined is you have the data type followed by the identifier then as many square brackets as the dimensions so here we see that iarr is now our 2d array or a two dimensional array of the type int the size of the first dimension is 2 and the size of the second dimension is 7 so i'm not specifically taking the name of a row or a column here because that depends on the storage let's just call them as the first and the second dimension again the square bracket operator is used as many times as the dimensions in the array to refer to a individual element so i a r r 0 0 and 1 2 are two distinct elements we assign each of these the values of 10 and 11 respectively what we do next is print out the values of these two variables that is i a r r 0 0 and 1 2 then we also do a couple of more printfs the first one has a size of function on the entire iarr the second printf which prints out int array has the size of function on iarr 0 so it is going to reference the entire single dimensional array located as iarr 0 and then we have a int lm printf which has a size of on iarr 1,0 So the output of all of these is shown in the screenshot below it. So E0 and E1 have taken the correct values. The size of the entire 2D array, which is the printf size of IARR, is actually shown as 56. This can be calculated as follows: each of the individual elements is of size 4 bytes, and we have 7 into 2 such elements. So 7 into 2 into 4 is equal to 56, and that is what is printed here. size of iarr 0 which is what we have in the printf as int array is shown as 28 this again can be calculated because this entire dimension is of size 7 and each element is of size 4 bytes so we have 7 into 4 is equal to 28 the size of int lm is again 4 bytes and iarr 1,0 that is what it prints out so each of the individual elements is still of the type int and each of the dimension is of type int array in this case one of the things which the compiler is transparently doing for us in case of multi dimensional arrays is to store them in a linear fashion so it is good to understand the various storage methods which are there for multi dimensional arrays just so that in the case when we know that a compiler has stored them in a particular fashion if we so desire we can actually optimize them for access on a particular architecture so nd arrays and that is to and beyond are always stored in contiguous memory just like a single dimensional array so whenever the name array comes in it means that it refers to contiguous memory and there can be two styles of storing these here for an example we have taken a 2d array with sizes of 2 and 3 in the first and the second dimension the two styles of storing these are either we store the rows first and then we follow it up with the next column or what we can do is we can store the columns first and then follow it up with each row the first ordering is known as the row major ordering and this is used by the c language the second ordering is known as the column major storage ordering so here's a small example and suppose say the elements are in this array named as array 0001102 that is the first row and then we have the second row array 101112 so the first dimension is referring to the row number and the second dimension is referring to the column number so notice in the row major ordering 
the array 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, these elements come in a contiguous fashion. And then we have array 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. So each of the individual rows is stored by itself one after the other. So row major. In the column major storage ordering, the elements array 0, 0 is followed by array 1, 0. Then we have the next column that is array 0, 1, then array 1, 1. So each time a column has been stored and that is how the contiguous memory location is utilized. So compare the address assignments in these two cases. Whereas in the first case, the address 0x1011 was assigned to array element 01. In the second case, it has been assigned to the array element 10. 